Okay, here's the first one. Myth or true? Carrots can help you see in the dark. Myth. While carrots are full of vitamin A, which helps maintain eyesight, you won't get night vision. In the 1940s, British Air Forces invented a new radar, and to keep it secret, they told everyone it was carrots that helped them see at nighttime. Diamonds aren't a special gemstone. True! While diamonds may be a great engagement rock, they're not as rare as we've been made to believe. Advertising campaigns have made this very common rock something extraordinary. If you want something really rare, painite gems will look beautiful and empty your wallet at the same time. Around $50,000 a carat. Fruit Loops have different flavors. Myth. There's no point in avoiding the color you don't like. All the colors are the same flavor. Even Kellogg's has stated that they all share the same blended fruit flavor. Well, now I don't know what to believe anymore. Dropping a penny from the Empire State Building can obliterate a person below. Myth. While the penny won't tickle, it will not damage anyone on the ground. Simply, the penny can't build up enough speed while it's tumbling to the ground. Better to just keep the change in your pocket. The moon has a dark side. Myth. No, the moon isn't going to use the force to rule. Our satellite is tidally locked with the Earth meaning that we're always looking at one side. But there's no permanent dark side. Kleenex was originally designed for gas masks. True. Yeah, Kimberly Clark originally designed a thin cotton substitute to be used as a filter. In 1924, Kleenex began selling in the U.S. as a cold cream and makeup remover, eventually turning into the soft tissues we love today. Chocolate is bad for you. Boy, isn't that a myth. (laughs) While too much chocolate, just like too much of anything, can indeed do some harm, a little bit can be quite good for you. Not just any chocolate, though. Only the dark variety. Yum. Weekend sleep-ins will help you catch up on lost sleep. That's a myth. As comfy as your bed is on a Sunday morning, you just can't make up for lost sleep. Irregular sleep can lower your concentration and performance. If you're refreshed when you wake up, you've had the right amount. Zombies are real. True! Now, no human has ever turned into a hungry zombie that were shown so much in the movies, but they do exist in the animal kingdom. A fungus that has a really long name I don't want to pronounce takes over ants with its chemicals. Under the control of the fungus, the ant leaves its family to find a very specific branch or leaf. Then, it lets the fungus sprout out of it and release spores back into the world. How delightful. The largest living organism is the blue whale, African elephant, or shack. (laughs) Myth. While all of those are large, the honey fungus in the Blue Mountains, Oregon, wins by quite a bit. With the length of 3.4 miles, that's 6.5 Burj Khalifa's end-to-end, and it's still growing. But on the bright side, it's edible. Mushroom omelet, anyone? Turkeys can blush. True! Just like humans, turkeys blush when excited, angry, or sick. The skin on their heads and necks can turn red or even a shade of blue. The fleshy flap of skin that hangs over their neck is called a snood. It also turns bright red when the bird is excited. Yeah, Maybe not at Thanksgiving, though. We only have five senses. Myth. There's no right number. Some say 5, 7, 14, 24, or even 57. Our most basic senses are actually sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. But also movement, body position, temperature, balance, and the sense of our internal state. Like feeling your heart. For example, close your eyes and touch your nose. That's proprioception, or body position. Bats are blind. Myth. Bats' eyesight is actually better at nighttime than ours. They just can't see as well in daytime, because they only see in black and white. Perhaps this myth arose from the fact that bats use sonar to navigate without sight. Unicorns are real. True. They're not horses, though. It's deer that are likely the culprit. A single horn can be a genetic anomaly found in some species, possibly leading to the unicorn legend that formed a long time ago. Honey never spoils. Myth. 
Uncovered in a humid environment, it will spoil. As long as the lid stays on it and no water is added to it, honey shouldn't go bad, though. Having antifungal and antibacterial properties means no organisms can live in it. No matter how old your stored honey is, it's probably perfectly edible. Oranges are always orange. Myth. Sweet oranges are a hybrid of tangerines and the pomelo, with a bright green skin to help protect them from the sun. In warmer climates, like Southeast Asia, oranges are still a bright green when ripe. Makes you wonder what came first, the fruit or the color. There are bugs in your strawberry frappuccino. True. Eh, but not anymore. A dye made of ground-up tiny insects called cochineal bugs is used by many companies to make the color red. Starbucks stopped using bug red color in their strawberry frappuccinos in 2015. Firefighters use wetter water. True. To be more efficient at stopping fires, firefighters recently started adding certain chemicals to the water. The wetting agents reduce the surface tension of the water, making it easier to spread and soak into objects. Leave wasps alone and they'll leave you alone. Myth. While this works for bees, their cousins, the yellow jackets, will disagree. Known as one of the most bad-tempered wasps, they've been said to sting unprovoked, even if you just happen to walk by their nest. If you see wasps, give them a wide berth. The Eiffel Tower was supposed to be torn down after 20 years. True. The Eiffel Tower was designed to show off France's industrial power during the World's Fair. The designers cleverly put transmitters and antennas on top to make the tower too useful to eventually demolish. Head lice prefer dirty hair. Myth. Lice don't really think about hair cleanliness. They simply need human hair to hang on to, whether it's squeaky clean or greasier than a fryer. Lice feed off of our scalps, and the hair is just a place to hang out. Camel's humps store water. Myth. Camels don't store water. They store fat in their tissues, just like me after the holidays. These reservoirs of fat allow camels to survive for days in the desert without stopping for food. They drink large amounts of water at a time and store that in their bloodstream. You need to drink 8 glasses of water a day. Myth. Staying hydrated is critical, especially in hotter weather. But we seem to forget that every drink is mainly water, even tea and coffee. Our bodies are the best indicators for when to drink water. Feel thirsty? Then it's time to have a drink. An elephant never forgets. True. Having the biggest brain of all land animals, elephants should have a great memory. And they do. Being able to remember their entire territory, friends, and spots to find water is crucial to the social structure of elephants. They might even have a better memory than you and I. Now, where did I leave my keys? Bananas grow upside down. True. Bananas grow naturally towards the sun as they're getting larger. That's why there's a curve. So does that mean we've been peeling them the wrong way this whole time? Maybe. No number before 1,000 contains the letter A. True. Now you can try and spell each number out if you like, but I bet you're just going to take my word for it. The Guinness Book of World Records was created to settle arguments. True. The world's best trivia book was published in 1955 after an argument about the fastest game bird in Europe. The managing director of Guinness Brewery realized there wasn't a go-to book for trivial questions, so he created his own, and the rest is history. You're eating real wasabi. Myth. When you're sitting down for tasty sushi, that green paste sometimes isn't wasabi. It's horseradish. Real wasabi is very expensive with a milder taste to it. If it's not made in front of you, it's not going to be the real thing. So there. Now, one of the most common animal myths is that mice love cheese. It popped out a long time ago, probably as early as when people started storing food. Since mice are regular visitors to human homes, they were constantly looking for food they could eat. 
people used to store grains in glass jars. They also kept their meat hanging up high. But they'd lay the cheese on the shelf, which was an easy target for all the unwelcome pantry visitors like mice. So they ate it, because they couldn't reach anything better. But a mouse will definitely more likely go after chocolate or some other sweet thing than the cheese. Who can blame them? Now, flamingos don't really stand in the water on one leg so they wouldn't get cold. This is just a simple way for them to spare the effort. It's exhausting for us humans to stand on one leg. But for them, this is the most stable position possible considering their peculiar anatomy. This pose doesn't require any muscular work. Now I'm jealous. One of the most widespread and oldest myths out there is that ostriches hide their heads in the ground every time they're scared. A long time ago, researchers thought ostriches weren't very smart because they bury their heads in the ground without being aware the rest of their large bodies are still out there, where everyone can see them. In fact, ostriches do it when they want to swallow sand and pebbles to boost their digestion or just turn over the eggs they lay in their nests. And even then, they technically don't bury their head, but put it near the ground. Otherwise, with its head in the sand, the poor thing wouldn't be able to breathe. No reason to think of an ostrich as a frightened bird. Like some other animals, it will flee if it senses there's a danger coming. And in some situations, it'll fight back and defend itself. And that's one angry bird. What do you think is the largest thing a blue whale can swallow? Well, we're talking about the biggest animal ever known to have lived on our planet. It can grow up to 100 feet long with a weight of 200 tons. Its heart is as big as a car, and its tongue can weigh as much as an average elephant. It's easy to imagine a blue whale swallowing cars, people, and even small ships, perhaps. But it's all wrong. The largest thing it can actually swallow is a grapefruit. Its throat can take the size of a small salad plate. Whales feed on small fish, plankton, and marine crustaceans, so they don't need a bigger throat. But we wouldn't be able to survive the juices inside a blue whale's stomach anyway. It would finish us within 15 seconds, similar to how long we'd last in space without a spacesuit. So don't try this. Camels don't store water in their humps. We're talking about animals with extraordinary resistance to some pretty extreme conditions. They can survive even when drinking water only every 8 to 10 days. But not because they have a secret stash on their back. It's because, when they have a chance to drink, they will swallow 50 gallons of water at one sitting. They mostly use it to replenish 30% of their total body weight, an amount they can lose by dehydration. So they lose a lot of water but quickly regain it. Their humps are where they deposit fat, but it's not for producing water. The oxygen camels would need to inhale would cause them to lose too much water because it would evaporate through their lungs. That's why they use fat as a nutritional source for energy. This helps them survive in arid regions and times of scarcity. Now, it's a myth that anteaters vacuum ants using their noses. They don't go around looking for ants and hoovering them through their long snouts. Anteaters have very long tongues. Giant anteaters have tongues that go up to 2 feet long. It's the shape of a strand of spaghetti and covered in spiny hooks and sticky saliva that traps ants, up to 160 times in a minute, which means they eat up to 20,000 insects in a single day. That's a lot of bugs. They open anthills using their claws and then do the rest of the work with the tongue. They don't have teeth, so they only swallow all the insects they catch. Movies might have given you a false sense of security when it comes to dinos. Nope, standing very, very still couldn't save you from a raging T-Rex coming after you. Uh Uh-uh. It's a myth the Dino King had bad vision. These beasts may have seen better than modern-day raptors. They had excellent death perception, something present in today's animals such as eagles and hawks. Even if, by some miracle, the Dino King can't see you or thinks you're just a small tree or some other object because you're standing so still. They had a pretty good sense of smell. So, the better option would be to run, because the T-Rex is not as fast as scientists used to think, up to 33 miles per hour. Considering their anatomy, they could move at a speed of 12 miles per hour. Anything faster than that would have caused serious bone damage. But this didn't stop them from ruling the animal world, because there were plenty of dinosaurs way slower than them, so they didn't have to worry about food. 
Another misconception states that owls can spin their heads, neither more nor less than 360 degrees. Their head spinning does have its limit, 270 degrees in one direction. Since they can turn 270 degrees to the left and right, owls have a 540 degree range of motion. Don't worry, if you touch a butterfly's wings, the animal won't lose its ability to fly. It will survive, despite the common myth that says the opposite. Butterfly wings have scales. When you touch them, some scales might shed off. But it's not a bad thing, because they shed off naturally, too. Because of sheddable scales, they can escape more easily if they get stuck and trapped in spider webs. Now, the next myth has inspired many movies, books, and TV series scenarios. But no, wolves don't howl at the moon. They typically howl at night, true, but because that's the period of time when they're most active. They'll also look up while howling since this helps the sound travel. That way, other wolves will hear them from around 6 to 7 miles away. And that's why they howl in the first place, to communicate with each other. They make specific sounds for a certain situation. For example, to help a wolf that lost its pack find its way home. The moon just happened to accidentally be there while wolves were communicating. Okay, giraffes only need 30 minutes of sleep a day. That's another myth. They sleep about 4.5 hours daily. It's not that unusual for animal species that are most active during daylight. Studies also show giraffes usually lay down to sleep for less than 11 minutes at a time. Many people believe moles are blind. These small, burrowing mammals actually can see. It's just their vision is really poor and only adapted to recognize light. They're also colorblind. When they're searching for food and navigating the dark underground, these creatures mostly rely on their touch and sense of smell. Now, their sense of touch is sharp, which is why moles can feel nearby vibrations of activity. This helps them avoid danger or find their next meal more easily, like millipedes, worms, centipedes, and other invertebrates. Yum! They're really fast at digging and can dig a couple of inches per minute. In the winter, animals hibernate not because it's too cold for them to be outside, but because there isn't enough food during that period. When an animal is in hibernation, its heart rate, body temperature, breathing, and other metabolic activities slow down significantly. That's how they conserve energy. Chipmunks, bats, turtles, snakes, they all hibernate during the winter, which saves them energy for other seasons when they get more active and are capable of getting more food. I'd say bears too, but they're not the true hibernators. If you try waking one up during the winter when you believe the animal is sleeping, you might end up having a bad time. Now, they do slow down, which means they sleep for extended periods of time. They're still not asleep for the entire winter season, and you can easily wake them during their sleep, so let's not. Now, don't believe myths. Earwigs won't lay eggs in your ears. Yup, despite their name, they're not that interested in your ears. Well, at least, there's no evidence they'd want to go there. They prefer to spend their time in dark, moist places, such as under tree bark or in soil. So, your ears are off the hook. Eating before swimming doesn't cause cramps. Everyone knows that you have to wait at least 30 minutes after eating to go swimming. If you don't, you might cramp up or, even worse, sink. This is actually not true. Our bodies are perfectly adapted to swim while full. If you do happen to get a cramp while in the pool for any reason, just relax and float. You'll be feeling fine soon enough. Handling a toad or frog won't give you warts. Warts are caused by a certain virus, which is only carried by humans. The myth came about because of the bumpy, wart-like skin texture of toads and tree frogs. Frogs might not give you warts, but they could still be poisonous, so you shouldn't handle them. You don't accidentally eat eight spiders a year while sleeping. This old myth doesn't have a leg, or eight legs, to stand on. Most people sleep with their mouths closed, so in the unlikely event that a spider actually made it to your face, it wouldn't even have the opportunity to go into your mouth. If you sleep with your mouth open, though, you're most likely snoring, which creates vibrations strong enough to scare any spiders away. Bananas don't grow on trees. 
We call the plant that bananas grow on banana trees. But guess what? They're actually an herb. Weirdly, they're most closely related to the ginger family. These trees are really just big stem-like succulents, like aloe vera, jade plants, or cacti. Just don't try peeling cacti like a banana. The banana itself is also technically a berry, like a pumpkin, a cucumber, and an avocado. Sitting too close to a TV won't ruin your eyes. We've all been told not to sit too close to the TV and PC monitor or you'll damage your eyes. Ophthalmologists have said that it can cause temporary strain to the eyes, but long-term problems are rare. If you're nearsighted, chances are you're always going to be, whether you sit too close or not. You don't lose most of your body heat through your head. While it may feel that way during the winter, our body loses heat all over. You need to wear a hat because it's more exposed, unlike the rest of the body, which is kept toasty with jackets and thick pants. Swallowed gum won't stay in you for seven years. You should definitely avoid swallowing gum. That's not something that's good for you. But just in case you do by accident, you'll be happy to learn that it won't stay inside your body for seven years. You can't fully digest the gum, but all that happens is that gum leaves your body naturally in a matter of days. Our tongues don't have different sections for tasting. There's no bitter, sweet, sour, umami, or salty sections of our tongue whatsoever. This giant muscle can taste everything all over. So you don't have to worry about keeping specific foods in specific parts of your mouth. Fingerprints might not be unique. <laughs> Sounds terrifying, doesn't it? Well, the reasoning is actually very simple. We can't check every fingerprint on Earth, so it's difficult to know if they really are unique to each individual. Related people can have somewhat similar fingerprints, and there are over 7 billion people on the planet, so it's almost impossible to check. Sushi doesn't mean raw fish. While many people will think it means raw fish, sushi actually comes from a Japanese word meaning sour rice. And it's the rice that's at the heart and soul of every piece of sushi. That's why you can buy sushi with cooked fish in it in supermarkets. Sharks do have tongues. It's a common debate, but it turns out that sharks do have tongues. Just not the types of ones that you can find on people. Most can't even move them around, so it barely counts. For example, the cookie cutter shark's tongue doesn't help much with eating. Instead, it supports some of the bones around its gills. And no, it doesn't make delicious cookies. You can swallow watermelon seeds. Watermelon is the perfect summertime treat, but worrying about a plant growing inside you can completely ruin it. Uh, not to worry, seeds can't survive and grow inside stomach acid. Watermelon seeds are actually good for you. Flies live longer than 24 hours. Some flies can live for a few days to even years. That's right, those pesky house flies live a lot longer than you think. <laughs> sometimes even up to a month. So trapping one in a room won't make it go away faster. It just means that you won't have access to that room for a long time. Fresh fruits and veggies aren't superior to frozen. Having fresh instead of frozen produce might seem like a no-brainer, but the choice isn't actually so simple. By the time that juicy mango or crisp carrot gets to your local store, it's actually been through a lot. Most fresh produce travels on trucks or ships or planes and gets processed. Once it arrives, it's often covered in pesticides in order to keep it fresh. Now, on the other hand, frozen fruits and vegetables are immediately frozen, keeping all their nutrients and minerals preserved. If you can grow your own produce, though, you can guarantee freshness. The Great Wall of China can't be seen from the moon. The only thing that you can see from the moon is Earth, which is mostly white with blue and patches of yellow and green vegetation. No man-made object is easily visible from this far away. In low Earth orbit, though, cities can be seen during the night and day. These include major roadways, airports, dams, and reservoirs. Hey, I can even see my house from there. 
lightning can strike the same spot more than once. This myth has been around for a very long time, and it's just simply not true. Lightning will strike whatever is attracting it, however many times it can. This means that in many cases, it's more likely to strike twice. Just watch the Empire State Building during a lightning storm. It gets hit more than 100 times every year. Saturn's rings aren't solid. When you see a photo of Saturn, it'd be easy to assume that the rings are solid, but they're not. The rings are made up of tiny particles of rock and ice that vary in size, from as small as a grain of sand to as large as a house. <laughs> Good luck trying to spacewalk on these rings. Cracking your knuckles won't cause arthritis. A lot of people are scared to crack their knuckle joints because of advice from friends and family. The most common myth is that it causes arthritis. Well, this just isn't true at all. One scientist even cracked the knuckles in his left hand for over 60 years and was left with no discomfort whatsoever. Waking a sleepwalker won't hurt them. In fact, the most dangerous thing for a sleepwalker is allowing them to carry on wandering around. Getting them back to bed so they don't hurt themselves is the best way to make sure that they're okay. We use most of our brain percentage. We use far more than the myth of 10%. That's right, especially you, Brightside viewer. Although some parts of the brain have yet to be figured out by scientists, we know enough to debunk this idea. We actually turn parts of our brain on and off and tap into different parts when they're needed. Now, we haven't unlocked any secret powers yet, but hopefully we can find something one day. Bears don't really sleep during hibernation. Bears don't sleep for months on end while hibernating. They actually go into something called torpor. This means that they slow things down in their bodies, but are still able to react to any stimuli around them. If you see one sleeping during winter, just make sure to keep your distance. Chameleons change color to show their mood and to communicate. Chameleons are known as masters of camouflage, but they often don't even use their abilities to camouflage. They actually change color to show when they're feeling a strong emotion. When they're agitated and upset, they'll turn black. When they're happy, they'll stay a bright green or blue. The sun isn't a fireball. The sun doesn't burn as we think of it, like logs on a fire or a gas stove. It glows because it's a giant ball of gas with nuclear fusion taking place in its core. Our sun isn't yellow or white either. It glows green-blue. The human eye sees all the rainbow colors around it and mixes them together to make the sun's famous golden yellow. Dogs see more than black and white. Asking dogs to read an eye chart or to pick out colors would be impractical, but scientists have been able to figure out the vision of dogs. They see the world through a basic color scheme of yellow, blue, and gray, not black and white. It seems that they also lack the ability to see the range of colors from green to red. Chasing a tennis ball has to do with movement and smell more than color. Salt doesn't make water boil faster. That tiny pinch you put in before your pasta doesn't make any difference to the amount of time it takes to come up to a boil. The same goes for putting oil into the water to stop your pasta from sticking. It doesn't work, but it might still be worth adding some if you want to make sure that the water doesn't boil over. Vikings probably never wore horned helmets. As awesome as they looked, Vikings didn't have a practical use for horned helmets. This look was created for an opera costume in the 19th century, and it's stuck ever since. Get the point? Huh, <laughs> looking sharp. Some Vikings might have used them, but archaeological finds have suggested that if they did use them, it wasn't very common. 